Hey guys, welcome to StuTube. It is April 14th, and I just want to go over what happened with Tesla. Yesterday, I had told you that I did take my first Tesla position. Uh, this was my first actual trade setup in the stock market versus the crypto market. And I wanted to see if my technical analysis would kind of work the same, so I had pointed out this triangle slash bear, uh, bull flag here, whichever way you want to look at it. I said my target was around $730. I was going to take profits around $695. Um, when I woke up this morning, we were sitting bang on $730. So I immediately closed my position. Uh, it was a beautiful play. Just everything worked out with my target there. Even if we go up now, I don't really care because that was my plan. We reached my target for a couple of reasons, and from there I'm out. Um, if we did continue to rally higher, I wouldn't be surprised to see the top of this red box tested around $760. Our next fib line would be about $815. But more so, I'd be looking at this purple trend line here. Right along there, you can see that we touched this touch point, we have this touch point, it makes sense that that would be a carried on continuation. So even if we went up higher and tested that and start having some sort of a pullback, but we'll have to see that's all fairly, it's early to say what's going to happen here. I just want to go over why I took my profits. You guys remember that I drew out this Fibonacci tool and my 0.618 Fib line was actually at the bottom of my red box here. After I made the video, I did make one adjustment. Um, when I took this from swing high to swing low, I never factored in. I kind of took it off this high, but I should go from the all-time high because that's where our down rally started. And look at that 0.618 fib, guys. Like That is pretty much bang on. It wicked very slightly over by a few dollars, but that is a bang on move there if it would happen to reverse here. That 618 line, I've talked about it on a lot of my videos. It's a very important pullback zone. And since our down, we had a downtrend, our pullback is a bounce to the upside. We've tested that. And now if we made a move back down, it would make perfect sense. Um, we don't have to, and none of this is financial advice. Do your own research. I'm just looking at it from a safe trade setup. I had my plan. I stuck to it. Um, another reason why this 0.618 FIB was so appealing to me is, you guys remember, I made a, let's take the measured move of that bull flag slash triangle from our breakout point, which was right here. And look at that, guys. It's, it's bang on. Like, that trade could not have gone any more perfectly. So, as far as a trading perspective, not an investing perspective, that was a perfect play, and I'm okay with how it ended up. I am going to wait, hopefully get a bit of a pullback. You can see here I entered at this blue line around 550 US dollars, and I sold here at 730, just basically a few days of trading later. <clears throat> that was about a... Well, a 30% move in a few days, so beautiful. No, no complaints with that. Um, hopefully we'll get some sort of a pullback, and hell, if it's a big one, maybe I can buy twice as many Tesla now. Like, We'll have to see how far it pulls back, if it even pulls back, guys. Um, one thing I want to compare this 0.618 line to, just to show you some importance of the line, let's compare it to the weekly Bitcoin chart. If we go back to our all-time highs here where Bitcoin hit $20,000 approximately, <clears throat> let's take that as our swing high to where we bottomed out after our bear market, or temporarily bottomed out. Look at this, guys. Look at this, and look at this. That's what I mean by it is a perfect retrace zone a lot of times, and look what Bitcoin has done since. It basically wanted to retest this bottom local support. So, I mean, if that happens with Tesla, we could expect this purple box to come into play again, and that's down closer to $400. Again, this does not have to play out. I'm just comparing it to Bitcoin for a simple Fibonacci retracement comparison here. So I just want to bring that 
to your radar and show you what the importance of that line is and an example of it working in something that I'm familiar with trading. So that's kind of why I wanted to bring that up. Anyways, guys, um, hopefully that uh, gives you a little bit of insight as to what I have been looking at and why I took that trade on Tesla and why it worked out so well. Um, hopefully there's more of those in the future and maybe I'll keep an eye on some different stocks or different currency pairs or whatever, but I'd like to find some more beautiful trade setups like that. Anyways, guys, have a good rest of your day. Stay safe out there. Peace out.